Parler has become one of the most downloaded apps in the US uh, since the election, with complex analysis becoming the center of misinformation. Well, let's head to Shauna in the Cube, who can tell us more. Parler is an alternative for Twitter. It looks very like it, and it's very prominent for conservative voices. It is booming right now. It is the top downloaded app in the United States. Similarly, the Donald.win was created to be a Reddit alternative for conservative voices, particularly for Donald Trump supporters. And on both apps right now, there's misinformation that has been circulating, particularly with regards to something called Benford's Law. Now, here you can see just how prominent this law has been with regards to posts on the Donald.win. Uh, we know as of yesterday, this was the top performing post uh, on Parler. Again, say, using this complex, complex statistical model, people are arguing that by using this model, it shows that there was widespread voter fraud. One of the biggest questions we had, though, is what exactly is Benford's Law? The story of Benford's Law is very analog. It starts with Benford going into a library pre-calculators where you had to look up values in a book if you wanted to do like logarithms. And he found that the front of the book was really worn out, but the back of the book wasn't. So the ones are in the front. And long story short, what he discovered is that in lots of natural systems, it's much more common to have numbers that start with a one than that start with any other number. And in fact, it follows a nice smooth curve. So about 30% of numbers start with ones and it goes down to nines that are only about 5%. And it's used to detect fraud in things like accounting. So if you look at tax numbers or the books that you have for a company, they also follow that pattern. Here's an example of the graphs we're seeing on both platforms. Now, here's a county per county basis. Uh, the numbers here, they said, should start with one mostly going on. So, for example, a thousand votes should be the most common. You can see here, using uh, Joe Biden's data, it doesn't follow this trend. Trump's does. But there's problems with using this model. And she explained more. So we can't use that basic first digit technique. And part of that is because elections are various. So here in the US, especially in the presidential election, there's two main candidates. There's a few third party candidates, but they get a very tiny percentage of the vote. And so basically, if you take any precinct, say a, a county with a thousand people, Trump will get some of the vote and then Biden gets the rest. And so because we have this binary choice, it's really unlikely that both candidates are going to follow this. And so that screws up your attempt to apply Benford. It's not designed to look at one thing versus another. It's designed to just look at general numbers. And so, uh, you know, that makes it problematic. Also, it tends to work on a range of orders of magnitude. So you have things in the hundreds and the thousands and the ten thousands and the hundred thousands. And election precincts are intentionally kept small enough that you can count all the votes. And so you don't have that big span of a range of zeros put on the end. Um, so it just doesn't work quite right there. No matter what app you're on, always be careful of echo chambers and head to the experts for any advice or information you need. OK, always head to the experts. Well, Shauna in the Cube, many thanks.